What's up everybody, welcome back to Atlian Gaming for another quick guide, this time on the large food pot. So I had a few people in the comments asking me or telling me theirs wasn't working or how does this work exactly. So I'm going to do a quick little video just to go over how exactly this large food pot works. So the description of it says a big pot of rice flavored by crafters and warriors. Favored by crafters and warriors. It takes copper ingots, hardwood, clay, and stone. Very small amount of each resource. And and you get it pretty early on so here ours is right now we have our ice container two food boxes and a large food pot those don't have anything to do with them we just put our food next to it that way we know if we can fill it up it's just all right there so we're gonna go ahead and look inside the inventory of it as you can see there's a bunch of moldy food old food that we use for fertilizer and there's still 35 pieces of grilled meat here so as long as this food pot has edible food in it you can hold E on this food pot and display the range. So if we go outside now, we should be able to see the active range of the food pot. So within that circle, any warriors that are inside the circle will automatically eat food out of the pot when their hunger gets too low. So if it gets close to zero, it's just going to automatically pull from that food pot. So you don't have to worry about having to feed every single warrior. Now, for example, this guy out here, is not within the circle's range so he will have to be fed separately so you might have to set up multiple food pots in order to feed all of your warriors at all of your crafting stations but all of these guys in here and in the main house upstairs downstairs they're eating straight from the food pot so we don't even bother feeding them at this point we just make sure the pot has food and they all pull from there now keep in mind if you have 10 warriors all eating out of the food pot the food's going to drain very quickly um, so you'll have to find a good balance because as you can see there's also food that molded out so no one was really needing it. So that's pretty much how the food pot works. It's not too complicated. Um, I would check if you think yours isn't working. You probably didn't see that there's a range display of them, a certain range for them. But I have had no issues with the food pot. All of these, especially some of the guys that went on vacation that I can't access their their um, NPCs they were eating straight out of the food pot with no issues so keep that in mind when you're setting up your base make sure you're checking out the range of the pot and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed that, that quick little guide on the large food pot and how it works and I'll catch y'all in the next episode and again thank you so much for commenting liking and subscribing I really appreciate all the interactions I've been getting and I'll catch you again in the next video see ya